while I was tending my bees this afternoon, I got a call about a swarm. Yay! My second swarm. The other one died. Uh, it's in there. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's, they're attached to the trunk inside this hemlock. I can see it. So this is going to be a little bit of a challenge for me because I can't just get in there and start sweeping them off. I don't think I can even get a box in there. So I'm going to try a little bit of coaxing. I might get a few of them, put them in a box, I have some attractive in there, maybe they'll start moving. We'll see. I don't know, I'm just going to try stuff and see what happens here. This time I'm gloved up. I'm not going to spray them down with sugar because um, I don't want them to be sticky in there. I have a new box here. Um, I need to go get my brush. But I'm going to try... Uh, there was a suggestion on YouTube to put a stick or something in the box, something for them to cluster to. It's a great suggestion. Last time they kept clustering in the corners of the box. It was hard to get them out. But if they could cluster to the stick, then uh, I can just lift the stick out. I have my hive body set up here. I have some attractant in it. If I can get some bees in there, maybe they'll start moving in. in there so I'm going to try just moving the brush inside their cluster here and see if they'll attach to the brush and then I can just gently shake them off into the box. Uh, try the other way. I have no idea how I'm going to do this. Yeah I'm moving the camera it's a little... that's better. I can't even get into the cluster of the branches or they are so thick, you can't break it up. What's interesting is the other swarm I caught was just a few blocks from here. So somebody in this area has a bunch of bees that are swarming a lot. You got four. Yay, I got five of them. And then I knocked off half of them. Very gently. Can you get a vacuum? Yeah. A vacuum would be helpful. Is there anything bad about using a vacuum? A vacuum. Um, no, not really. If you have the right kind of setup so you don't kill them while you're vacuuming them. You know what? I could clip off some of these little, little things. Should have grabbed the pruning shears. Might have to take them one at a time. I got it. Yeah, of course they yeah, will. They'll do that. The queen's yeah. scent is still there. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna this back here. They're all moving in one direction again. I think. I think we got. Wait, where are they doing? Huge mass migration in there. They're going to the top. Is what they're doing. So I'm gonna make a top here. Not necessarily. I see them going one place. I see them going in one direction. 
down all towards one spot. They're all acting all weird. They're all clinging to the sides of the walls right now. So we shook as much as we could off of the tree. It took about four or five uh, going back and forth, filling the box up, shaking the tree really violently, letting them fall in the box. That seemed to be the easiest way and, and the most successful thing. Uh, dumping them into the uh, hive body here and then going back for more. Um, we think we may have got the queen now because there's a lot of activity in the air. Things seem to be moving towards the hive body. And we see them clustering in the back corner. So, looks like we're good to go. We just gotta wait it out, let them settle down in the hive body.